Good evening, this is Carolyn, and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We are going to do our Scraps to Embellishment main swap tonight, and uh, the title of that swap is Pumpkin Patch, and so this is what I came up with. I, um, I had gotten this cornstalk die at, let me see if I can find it again. Um, I got it at scrapbook convention and I hadn't really used it yet and so I thought eh, perfect opportunity so it's these corn stalks and then it has four little ears of corn and three birds if you wanted to put them I didn't use the birds but that's the dye that I used it's a Creek Bank Creations they have really really good dyes some really cute stuff so anyway this is what I'm going to do. So I cut the corn stalks, and then I could get two out of each. Uh, this this is a pretty long. See, I could get two for my little embellishment out of each cut. So um, this is a piece of like basil cardstock. It's this kind of marbly, swirly uh, green on this side, and then it's a solid green on the other side. But it's really nice, solid, good basil cardstock. And then this is a uh, P13 uh, wood grain that is in a paper pad that I got from P13. And then everything else, just random scraps. So, let's get started on it. The first thing I'm going to do, and I had put all ten of them together, so I had to take this one off. Um, so, the first thing I'm going to do is put my fence on the corn stalks, and I had already put the uh, the foam tape on it, and I'd actually already stuck it down. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on these because I doubt seriously they will, and not all of them even hit the corn stalks, but I wanted the, the um, foam on there anyway, just to, even just against the, whatever you would use for a background just to keep it, you know, elevated. So anyway, we're going to get that on there. Give that just a second to dry. Oh, I am telling you, I am so tired. I, you know, you've, you noticed I don't have any videos going up hardly because I am just consumed with puppies. I have 16 puppies, and uh, my baby ones were really sick. They're, um, I think they'll be two weeks old tomorrow, as a matter of fact, but they got really sick. They got this bronchitis pneumonia stuff, and oh, I thought I was gonna lose them, and the vet got me in late that afternoon, and I was so grateful and thankful for that. And they're doing so much better. Okay, this big one, these these one, these three pumpkins. Actually, I used these same pumpkins on uh, whatever the one I did that had the scarecrow on it. I don't remember what swap it was, but I used these same three pumpkins. So I'm going to use them again. They're in different, little bit different colors. Um, this bigger one, I'm going to put here. Then I put the white one kind of in behind, and then the little one out here. I've already put this one on foam tape, so let's get it on there. Get it over here on the end. And then the white one, I'm going to just kind of slide in behind that one. Whoa, come back here. That's how I keep my mat messed up all the time is dropping stuff like that. Just slide that one right in there. Let me get something and wipe that glue off of my mat. <clears throat> and then I've also already put foam tape on the back of this little one. Hope I'm in frame. I didn't check much. I was just trying to get a video done. All right. So let's over that, overlap those just a little. Oh, and I want to put the, I don't want that one on there yet. I want to put, I've got this little, I don't even know what it is. It's just a, a die cut that has a whole bunch of different little greenery type things on it. 
And um, I thought this one was kind of cute, so I cut it. I think it's an old Tim Holtz die that I have had forever. That has all kinds of greenery type things on it. Okay, now let's put this last little pumpkin down. There we go. Okay, so that has our pumpkins. Now we are going to um, put our corn on there. At least we're gonna glue our corn. There are three little um, ears, or four little ears of corn. Get our little shucks out here. Look at my poor hands. They're just beat up from puppying. Okay. All right, here are four little ears of corn that we need to put together. Just a dot of glue to hold them and then we'll put them on our corn stalks. There's one. That needs to turn over. Two. Three. And four. There's all four of those. And then I just found some places to put them that were at different heights and levels. I don't think it really matters. Um, one out here. Get one down lower, maybe one even down this low. Let's get one down real low. And then one right up in here. There we go. So there's our ears of corn on our corn stalks. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is the hard part, is I'm gonna run this little uh, twine, it's actually a uh, crochet thread, so that it kinda looks like a vine crawling, you know, weaving around on our little fence here. So, let me just kind of, I think I'll put some glue right there and then I'll pull this around and glue it on the back, but I think I do want some glue right there. See if I can kind of get that where it might hold a little. I don't know, uh, while I'm doing this, I'll do the twist, because this is kind of a little bit time consuming. The twist today, we had a guest speaker at church Sunday, a guest uh, pastor. He was actually our former youth minister, um, and he's gone on to be a pastor. And so our pastor and his wife were out of town on vacation, and so he filled the pulpit and did a great job. But um, he he did a really good job preaching, but kind of as he was wrapping things up, he made a statement that just kind of hit me, <laughs> you know, like, oh my goodness. He said, if God answered every prayer that you prayed this last week, would how would it how would that go? Would you have prayed for everything that you should have? And that just hit me like super hard because like, you know, if God said, Okay, everything that Carolyn prayed this week is what I'm gonna answer. Did I cover everything that should have been covered in prayer? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty good about 
you know, praying for my family and my friends. But, you know, when it comes to the world, you know, I have been praying um, for Israel in that situation lately. And I have been praying for our election, but probably not as fervently as I should be. And so when he said that, I thought, you know, and there are people that are sick that I know, have I prayed for them the way I should? And that just really, really struck me. And I thought, you know, that should be that thought, that concept should be what drives our prayer life because God does answer prayer. You know, there, the scriptures that says the, the fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. God does answer our prayers. He may not always answer them exactly like we wish he did or whatever, but God does answer our prayers. And I thought, you know, that's our responsibility to pray for what's happening in our world, what's happening in our family, what's happening in our church, what's happening in our community, our nation. That's our responsibility. And I think God expects us to do that. So that really, that was, hit me kind of, kind of big. That was a, that was a, an oh wow moment for me at church Sunday. I'm going to cover all this glue up um, as soon as I get this done on here. So it won't be, um, as a matter of fact, I think it'll probably help hold those if I'd go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to use just these little tiny leaves um, to kind of cover those uh, glue spots. Now that's Nuvo, and so even though you see it now, it'll dry clear and and uh, it won't show. I think I want to bring this back around and maybe tuck it right under there. There's really no right or wrong thing to do with this. I just kind of wanted it to look like a vine that was weaving around on this fence. Okay, let's get another leaf. There we go. Now let's decide what we're gonna do with this end. I think I'm just gonna take it around and and uh, just tack it on the back. Nothing spectacular, just Get it stuck down. I'm so far behind on everything. I haven't done my Bible study video yet this week. I go to a ladies Bible study tomorrow night. And we're starting Daniel and I love Daniel. I've taught Daniel before and um, so I've got to get that studied tomorrow before we go there tomorrow night. I've got to get these in the mail tomorrow. I've got to get this week's embellishment. I don't have it done yet. I have so much to do, <clears throat> not to mention the puppying business. Let's see, let's go ahead and put a dot of glue right there. Don't wanna put that down till that dries a little bit on the back. So I don't wanna be stuck to everything. Okay. Now let's get another leaf over there. Come off of there. Okay, oops. I don't need it on my fingernail. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. We need one more leaf up there. Let's put one right up here. color. Let's try this one. There we go. All right. I think that's it. I think that's our embellishment. Let me kind of um, see if I can get you a close-up 
of some kind. And we're going to call that good. And I've got to get these in the mail tomorrow. Let me get these out of the way. And get that right up there. And I want to just thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you look in the description, you'll find the other people that are doing this hop. And um, you'll find the link for Ginger's Corner. If you haven't become a member on Ginger's Corner and following people there, it, you've just missed out on a fun, 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 sweet community. And so the links for all of that and the are in the description. And uh, even if you decide to do the hops, that's okay. If you decide not to do the swaps, that's also okay. You can just look at what everybody else does and be inspired and, and just have a good time. And so thank you for dropping by. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. So have a blessed day, but above all, be a blessing to someone else.